Well, hello, cruising world. Mick the Suit Guy back with you after a short break while we went on a cruise to Alaska. You're going to see a few videos coming up. Very uh, good one, I think, today. I'm going to explain to you all about how the Carnival Hub works. It's the Carnival app. You can download it on your phone. You go to your Play Store or whatever you want to do. Download that hub. It is invaluable to you on your cruise. There is so much you can do with it. It's got so much better over the years. So while we were on our cruise to Alaska, I took a ton of screenshots. I am going to walk you through everything pretty much that the hub can do for you. So buckle up. We're in for a ride, people. It's hub time. Strap in, everybody. I'm going to walk you through the hub. There's a lot to get through. I'm going to get through it as quickly, but as fully as I can. So this is your main kind of logo for the hub. Look for it on the uh, App Store. Look for it in your iPhone store, whatever you have on your phone. Uh, make sure you download this. It's going to make your cruise a lot better, I promise you. Once you download it, you're going to come up with these options. I'm on board. We're ignoring that for now because you can't do that until you're on board. Right now, we're in the excitement mode. We just booked our cruise. We're weeks, months away but we want to log in and, and, and start seeing what we can do. So you can enter with booking number or log in through your regular Carnival account. If you click on enter with booking number, notice my wonderful blue circle I hand drew there. It will come up with this screen. You can enter all this information, hit continue. It will log you into the hub. If you log in through your regular Carnival account, click on that one. It'll allow you to enter username and password and then log in that way. Once you've done that, it's going to come up with a countdown screen to your next cruise. Uh, assuming you have one, of course. Uh, my next one is going to be at the end of this year on the inaugural cruise on the Panorama. So it's got the countdown for me. It tells me how many days I have left and all that good stuff. I can share the countdown with people if I want to, you know, so I'm going with my friends or my friends decided they didn't want to go and I want to rub it in. I can send that to them. Now, if you click on these three little bars at the top here, it's going to come up with a screen like this. Now, before you cruise, Pretty much everything you click on, it's just going to direct you back to the Carnival website where you'll log in and you'll enter everything that way. So um, home, booking details, packages and deals, good to know. It's all going to be on your online Carnival page. But just a quick idea, packages and deals are going to be stuff like this, shore excursions, beverage programs, your cheers program and stuff like that. But everything you click before you go on board, it's going to take you to the Carnival website. Some good to know stuff, you know, if you have any questions about how things work on board. Again, this is all on Carnival's website. It will take you there. You can click on anything and it will show you, you know, a rough description of it. Now, that's all you want to do before. So again, download the hub. Not really much use until you get on board. You can upload your own picture for your avatar stuff. Of course, I have one of my suits. But the excitement comes when you get on board. So I'm on board. Click on this. It's going to take you to a screen like this. Now, bear in mind, I don't really recommend that you actually log into this until the ship actually leaves port. Use your regular plan, whatever you have. So you can get texts and emails and stuff like that right up until you leave port. So we typically will turn this on after we do the safety drill and then we'll go with this as we're leaving. But it will tell you to turn your airplane mode on, connect to Carnival Wi-Fi and it will have go to settings so you can do that. But it tells you what to do to connect to the hub. Uh, I personally turn off my mobile data as well just to be safe. It doesn't say you have to. I guess you don't, but I'm an idiot when it comes to technology. So what do I know? Now, once you've done that, it'll come up with your main screen. This is what's happening the next day. All this is taken from the cruise we just did in Alaska. So when you see these, these uh, ports and everything, it's just from what cruise we were on. It'll obviously be different for every cruise because it's going to log you right into the cruise you're on, all the information, what the weather is and all that good stuff. So again, we're going to click on my wonderful circled area up here and it's going to take us to these options and I'm going to walk you through each one. Home is where we just were. If you click on people, it's going to show you all the people you're sailing with. If you want to add people, look for them. If they're on board and they've logged in with the hub, it'll find them. Now we've got this thing called a chat plan. So if you want to do the chat plan, you would click on this little icon here. Once you've clicked on that, it would take you to this. Time to chat. For $5, you can chat with anybody in your friends page, as long as they've paid the $5 as well. So if Julie and me wanted to chat, if we were, we were walking around the ship and I didn't know where Julie was, if we both got the plan, I can just message her. So everybody that's in your people and your friends page, and those people have also spent the $5 on the chat. So you can do this, accept the terms, purchase chat, and away you go. 
It's a good thing if you don't have like internet on board or something like that, or, or you know, you tend to roam around a lot. I, sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. Now the next one we're gonna look at is what's happening. This is basically your fun times. It's gonna give you a list each day. You'll see at the top, we've got Sunday, today, Tuesday, whatever's going on. And you can list, you'll see a list of everything that's happening on board. If you click on them, it will take you into more information on what it is. So I got this Guess That Song One Hit Wonders. I really wanted to do that. So I've clicked on it, so it's favorited it for me. If I click on that, want more information, it's gonna come up with something like this and tells me more about the event I'm interested in going to. And there's my initials, interested in going MS. If you had any other friends that were going to the same event, that would show at the bottom here as well. Their initials would show up on there too. So. Once we've done all those, you can go into this favorites button and it's gonna show you what you wanna do each day. This is gonna show on day one, you can pretty much go through the whole week. They can make changes to it here and there, but by and by it stays the same. So you can go through on the first day, look at everything that's happening every night, give yourself a rough plan of what you wanna do and plan your days out if you want to. But again, double check every day that they're still going on. So here's all the things that I wanted to do. This is my list of favorites. Of course, I love my punchline at Comedy Club, but that's just me. Now, next up, we got food and drinks. It gives you a list when you click on that of what is open at the time that you log in. So I logged in this obviously sometime between 12 and six or 12 and 2.30 because it still shows this one open. So let's click on Guy's Burger Joint. It's gonna show you the menu. So you can see what you can get. Obviously this menu is gonna show at Guy's Burger as well, but if you're interested, it'll show you a list of everything that you can get there. Breakfast open seating. There's your breakfast menu. So it's fun, you can go in and see everything that you're going to be getting. Blue Iguana Cantina, they do burritos in the morning. Don't forget, if you don't know this, they do great stuff at lunch too. They do these big taco bowls, they're awesome. You can get um, shrimp, chicken, beef, and a bunch of salad stuff in a big taco bowl. Pretty awesome for lunch. There's your basic menu, what you choose, what you tell the guys or girls, and they will make this for you from these choices. But everything is on the hub, so you can see what you're gonna get. Evening dinner, early dining, your time dining, late dining, it's gonna be the same menu for all three, but you can go in each day and look at the menu of what's coming up. Say you wanna go to the steakhouse, but you're not sure what day, go on board, look through the menus for the week, and then choose which menu you maybe not be your favorite, and that night, go to the steakhouse. So that's great. I love that. And then don't forget now on, on pretty much every ship you can get pizza delivered to you. If not, you can go to the pizza place and get it yourself. But you can go to this part of the app, click on continue here. It's gonna ask you, do you want it to deliver to your stateroom or an area on the ship where you're sitting at? Tell them where you're at if you choose the uh, area on the ship. And then you pay for it, $5, and they'll deliver it straight to you. Brilliant. Next one we're gonna look at, shore excursions. Are you getting the gist of how important and how valuable this app is to your cruise? I hope so. Shore excursions, if you click on that, it's gonna take you to a filter where you can put down a filter for any shore excursions you want. This is only if you wanna do carnival excursions. If you watch my YouTube channel show on that, you'll see I don't do many. I typically go and do them with private companies ashore, but if this is what you wanna do, this is how you would do it. Filter, activity type. Price, duration, how much activity level you want. You can click on that. It will come up with a list of excursions that are available to you. Now, say you wanted to do this one, you could click on it and it would give you more information and it gives you the option to purchase it on the app. They will charge it to your sign and sale account. But you don't have to go to the Shore Excursions desk to book Shore Excursions. So we're gonna do that and then it's gonna show you what you've purchased. When we were in Victoria, we purchased a shuttle that took you into town, which I'm glad we did, because it was a lot further walk than I thought it was. And it's gonna still show you other options you have of booking excursions below. If I click on that, like here's another excursion we did, it'll give you all the details. Like when we were in Tracy Arm Fjord, we, uh, we took a little side excursion off the boat that took us right up to the edge of the fjord. It was amazing, well worth the, as you can see, very expensive price, but, you can click on that and it will give you all the information of what you spend and everything on that particular excursion. So that's your excursions. Now, ship maps will be the next one we've got down here. Ship maps, you've got a map view or you've got a list view. This is your map view. I chose deck two and it will show you everything on deck two. If you click on list view, here's the beauty if you're not sure where it is, and this is a big one like laundrettes. I wanna see where the laundrette is on seven mid. If I click on that, 
it's going to show me exactly where the laundrette is on 7 min. If I want to go to the alchemy bar, it says 2 aft, which is fairly easy to find, but again, if I click on it, it's going to show me exactly where on 2 aft that the alchemy bar is. So ship map's really important, especially in the first few days. After a while, you'll be used to where everything is, but it helps you get around the ship a great deal. So now we've got open times. I told you there's a lot of information to give you people. It will list everything on the ship and what time they are open. Whatever you are interested in. Account summary. Here's a good one. You can see what you've been spending or not been spending as the case may be. You click on account summary. It's going to come up. I block them out. Total charges, total credits. But there was our amounts up there of what we had credit on board. Like, you know, if you're on board credit and stuff like that. What our total charges were. What our available balance is. And then underneath, it gives you all the expenditure. Now, this is for the two of us, not just one. You can isolate this to be each person in the cabin. But this is for both of us. Now, you'll notice that we had the Cheers program, but there's a small amount of charge there. That's because we were in port or in American waters, so they charge you tax. They have to. It's not their decision. They have no choice. So that all goes along there. Now, just another example. Now we're actually at sea, so there's no charge on the Cheers program, no, uh, no tax or anything like that. And there's our gratuities that went on at the end of the week. If you click on anything, like if I clicked on that gratuities amount, is it going to give you the breakdown? Here's what went to the cabin steward. Here's what went to the dining services. Here's what went to the alternative services. So you can see the breakdown of everything that you purchased on board. If I click on a drink, it's going to show me what it was that I, I drank. I drank a lot of Presidente on that cruise, I can tell you. And there's the cheers discount. So it, it's normally $5.95. They took $5.95 off for the cheers and blah, blah, blah. You buy something in the fun shops. You can see it's something on your on your account information there. There was a $30.84 charge. You want to see what it was. You click on it. It's going to break down exactly what it was that you paid for it. So this is really helpful. Uh, it saves you having to go down to the front desk all the time and ask them questions. You could look it up yourself online. So anything you see, you just click on it and it's or push on it on your phone and it's going to go into the detail, full detail of what it is. So that's your account summary. Really, really helpful uh, as everything is on this app. Internet packages. We're getting there, people. We're getting there. It's going to show you the different internet packages you can get. If you've pre-purchased one, you can have either plan login and it, you'll be able to log in directly through there. Just follow the information. If you want to add this during the cruise, it'll give you the options. This is the social cruise, just for Facebook and stuff like that, how much it costs. And then you've got the value cruise, which is everything except like Skype and YouTube and stuff like that, your emails and all that good stuff. This is one we always get and how much it will cost for the cruise. And then the premium one, which includes everything with Skype and, and stuff like that, how much that would be for the cruise. Then you can just click on this. You can either do it for 24 hours or for the entire cruise each time you do it. So there's your internet plan options. Uh, don't quote me on this. I'm fairly certain it's cheaper if you book it in advance. A couple of other little notes you might see where you're going through. You can click on, in, on the dining room and it will tell you, you know, what the attire is for that night. So you can get used to all that stuff. You'll see that around a lot. Um, and then you have your itinerary and what's happening every day. And then when you click on these, it will take you into more information on, on, on each day. So there you go. That's the Carnival Hub. Hope you found that useful and helpful. As ever, check the next screen out. If you have any questions for me and if you're ready to book a cruise, you know the guy you have to talk to. His info is coming up. Download the Hub. You need to. See you later, cruising world. Email me anytime, cruisingsuitguy at gmail.com. If you're looking to book a cruise, contact the best in the fleet, David Chirinos. He is awesome. Tell him I sent you. He'll take care of you and make sure your cruise is awesome.